Hey, a good day. I can finish this is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Borick, and this is going to be a quick video as we dive into the IIHF's world of Slovakia after bronze medaling in the Olympics carry on their momentum to be able to take down France 4-2 to in their first game of the tournament. <clears throat> Overall, it was a very good first game between Slovakia and France as Slovakia was able to go up 2-0. The French were then able to answer and come back with two goals of their own to then Slovakia was able to pull away and win the game in the end as uh, Samuel Takac was able to score the big goal, which was some great hand-eye coordination. Takac played on their Olympic team as well that bronze medaled and Takac was able to hit it out of the mid-air and into the back of the net past um, the French netminder Henry Corrington and get it past him, who played a pretty solid overall game himself, as did Patrick Rebar, where the two goals that went in for France, one was just that brilliant pass to Pere that um, they were able to have from center ice through the legs to Pere to be able to score that goal. And then the other goal for the French was uh, Anthony Reich jumping up on the play and uh, being able to uh, make a nice play as well on that one. So there's not really much uh, Patrick Rebar could have done on either of those two goals. But when it came to Slovakia, <clears throat> uh, Tomas Tatar was able to wire one home. That was the second. And guess who was able to get the assist on that? A top draft prospect of this year's draft, who I've been talking about for a while. You're off Sokoski, who was good in the World Juniors, good in the Olympics, and now is good in the start of the world. Is anyone surprised? Absolutely not. As Tomas Tatar wires at home. And then he didn't get on the uh, Regenda goal that he was able to put home on the nice rebound, sticking with it in front. Uh, Mario and uh, Roman Milos got the assists on that one. But... I would say Jurov Sokoski was a big reason to lead to that play. He's the one that won the board battle at about their own blue line, got it up there uh, to Milos, and then and then Mario was able to make the primary assist to Rajanda there, and they were able to score, excuse me. So, Sokoski made a huge play for the first goal. He literally had an assist on the second goal. Reich then comes back and scores a nice goal in front, being able to get open, jumping up there. Pere then gets a beautiful pass. It's not really anything Slovakia could have done about that one. That was just a very skilled pass by the French there. And then Takash is able to answer with that batter out of the air. And then Regenda scores his second goal on a nice... Sorry if I mispronounced certain names. I freaking blow with certain names. But he's able to score on a nice empty netter there. As the French did, though, I would have to give them a B-plus at very least for this game. Because they did really push the ante, and they did really play a solid overall game. And not just um, <clears throat> Henry Quarantine, but also the team in general. Because to be able to fight back when, obviously, Slovakia is the favorite, and you're up 2 nothing, or you're down 2 nothing in the, in the French perspective, and you're able to fight back and make it 2-2, two -two, to then have the, the Takash goal, which was just a beautiful hand-eye coordination play again, which you can't do anything about. There's just certain plays where shit just kind of happens, and that was one of those. And then you go into having Regenda seal it. So I thought this was a great first game from the French, but an even better first game from Slovakia to carry their momentum from getting their first medal into the game one in the IIHF Worlds. This has been a quick recap of Slovakia versus the great country of France as the great country of Slovakia takes game one in the IIHF Worlds, as they were able to beat France four to two, but French definitely gave France, excuse me, definitely gave them a run for their money. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe, and please subscribe down below or above. And these huge wizards keep the channel growing to the goal of two fifty or more by the start of June.